you know, there were a lot of people that um, would have supported it, but it was because it was literally against the rules. And I think in 2000, right before we had arrived, somebody had actually been kicked out because rumors about her being gay had spread around the academy. It was scary to talk about and to like put yourself out there. Yeah, so I, um, I actually kind of came to terms with and came out with my sexual orientation. Um, I identify as lesbian. Um, and I came out to the first few people in my life when I was 18, probably around 17, 18, my senior year of high school, right around the time I was applying to the Coast Guard Academy. I had gone to AIM, I loved it. Um, I really wanted to go to the Coast Guard Academy, but I just couldn't. It just felt, yeah. Um, long story short, went to University of Maryland for a year, couldn't stop thinking about it. Had some great friends that basically were like, hey, you know, you can't do anything if you're not there. So just go and find your people and see if you can do something about it. You know, everybody wasn't a lesbian, everybody wasn't gay, and we wanted to be very inclusive, but we didn't want just like our name to be a long string of letters. Um, so Spectrum to us at the time, and the rainbow, because that's the flag and it's a spectrum of colors, it just seemed like, oh, this is perfect. So when she said that, we were all like, absolutely, that's the name. Uh, it feels awesome. It feels really good. Um, people can talk about it now, and not just can talk about it. I mean, it's encouraged, and it's supported. I mean, I think the first struggle was just finding each other, right? Because you weren't allowed, you couldn't ask, and you couldn't tell. Uh, but that's becoming less and less necessary. And, like, you're seeing these people who are coming through the academy now who are just, like, so aggressively proud, and I love it. I love every second of it.